All right. So anyway, um, I want to make sure that your game maker projects get off to a good start. And um, what I want to do is I want to cover um, both how to get a splash page with a background that has the title of your game and some instructions on how to play. And then find a way that you can allow the user to get from the splash page into gameplay mode. And then you're going to have two objects we're going to cover today. One object that will initialize your game and set all the variables you need. And you're going to have another object that's going to manage score health and lives. And in a later tutorial, you're going to use that same object to display a heads up display using sprites and graphics like a health bar and how many lives you have left visually created. So in order to do this, we're going to start with the new game. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a background for my splash page. So I go to the backgrounds folder, right click and create a background. And we're going to call this BG for background underscore. And then I'm going to write a uh, splash. And you could put title screen, whatever makes sense to you. Okay, so splash. And then what I'm going to do is, if I had an image ready to go, I could just load a background, okay? Um, or I can create it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it. And then later on, you can decide if you want to create your own background splash pages and load it. That's an easy thing. You just click load and find where you saved it. But I'm going to show you how you can use the image editor on GameMaker to design it right in here. So um, first thing I want to do is I want to change the size of this to be the size of my main page. Um, all game rooms by default are 640 by 480. So if you notice, I unchecked this keep aspect ratio and I typed in 640, 480. When I click OK, I have a nice big window. OK, so there's my 640 by 480 room. Nothing's drawn on it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a splash page. First thing I want to do is fill the background with a color. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, and now if I had a background image I could place on here, I would do that now. You've got a layer from the farthest away to the closest to you. So if you're going to put in some text and then try to fill it with a background color, you're going to have to fill in all the little O's and things. So we're going to start by filling it with the color first. And we have this color mode, blend or replace, color only. Uh, I'm just going to pick a color. So I'll use some kind of a teal color or school colors. And paint bucket, there's our background color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the type tool. And in order to draw text, you want to set the font first, then pick a color, and then plug it in. So you can see here, there's my font editor. Uh, and pick a one that's readable, but one that kind of fits your game. If it's more sci-fi, you might want to use Terminal. If you want just a standard one that looks different, just pick one that's readable. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to just go with this Tektron Pro Bold Extended. And then choose a big font size here. I want to do, we got effects, you can, uh, no, don't do effects, I'm sorry. Pick a color that's readable, like black. Click OK. Type. I'll just put game title for now. And unfortunately, you notice it's invisible. I think that's because I was supposed to do replace. No, it's still not working. Don't forget. I figured it out. You got to choose your color here. So it says colors left, right. Make sure you choose your color right here. Black on that green is highly readable. Let's see if white is. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to use black. It's more readable. If you think that's too small, you can always delete it or you can try to resize it. Let's see if I resize, if that works. Good. You can just resize it right there. So game title, add your instructions with the font. You can um, deselect, click again, write your new set of instructions. Notice pound sign gives you a new line. Okay, game objectives, pound sign, how to control, hero, etc. Now notice I have the little pound signs. I click OK. 
Um, that's too big. So while I have it selected, I'm just going to change my font in here. Resize it. If that looks good, you're good. And then you go on and you add your text as you go. Feel free to add little icons and things like that. But at this point, I'm just going to check OK for now. Oh, wait, I, I have one more instruction, and that is press Enter to begin. Click OK, and I'm going to check it. I've got my background here. I'm going to click OK. Now what I want to do is add it to my first room. So I right-click, create a new room, click on background, find my background image, BG Splash, take this off. I can see what it looks like, maximize it. There's my whole room. Um, I want to adjust this image later, but I can go in and edit that under background. And when I'm done editing it, it will display on here the newer version of that splash page background. Okay, so I've got our splash page ready to go. Now what we're going to do is create an object that will initialize the, the, uh, the game. However, before I do that, notice we got room zero. We're going to rename that. Um, I'm going to call it R. Oh, hold on. I got to title it here. Rename RM underscore splash. And then I'm going to add another room. It's called room one. That's pretty close. I'm just going to rename that to RM underscore one. This is called naming convention. I'm being consistent. Everything that's a part of Game Maker starts with two letters or three letters to indicate what it is. Then I have an underscore and then the specific name of the room or the background. 